new tonight, a medical breakthrough that's changing the lives of blind people. We're talking about special eyeglasses created in a lab by graduate students at Florida International University. And now, as Christy Kruger shows us, the idea is headed from the lab to the marketplace. Hit a home run, said the dinosaur. Mike Arbutman's life is about to change again. First, he lost his eyesight to an infection six years ago. The once independent Pembroke Pines man found himself reliant on others. It's as if somebody took away my, my hands and my legs because I didn't know how to do anything and I had to relearn how to do everything. But now, one thing he couldn't do, read a book to his daughter, is becoming a reality. They even looked at the ball game. Thanks to the iTalk glasses developed by graduate students studying social entrepreneurship at FIU's College of Business. It gives me my freedom back. I can go to a restaurant and read the menu by myself. Social entrepreneurship blends profit with a purpose. The students' design and business plan were recently recognized at the 2013 Global Social Entrepreneurship Competition at the University of Washington. Now they hope to go a step further and bring the special glasses right to the market. It is about creating a sustainable business model that has profit, that generates revenues, that also creates a social impact. The idea for the glasses came from a drone technology project that Verniel Sanchez and Jesus Amundrein developed while undergraduate engineering students. There's a tiny camera in the lens and a computer chip that interprets and translates the image into sound. Effective business plans, the non approach. I've never been challenged with come up with something new that doesn't exist and that does so social good at the same time. As the team worked with Mike, they realized the project's potential. Now you feel like you have a purpose and, and you can apply everything you learned in school, so it really changes you. These glasses are just a prototype. In fact, the students are in the process right now of upgrading the hardware to make them a little more user friendly. But in the future, Mike hopes to use these glasses to see almost everything he once saw before. These glasses today have done more than any piece of technology that was created thus far. In Pembroke Pines, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. Just amazing. And given a challenge by social entrepreneurship professor Seema Pisarius, these students are now working to secure seed money so they can develop their first beta version of the glasses.